This is what about 80 US dollars is going to get you at the grocery store in Japan. Today I went to a grocery store called Fresta, which is not the normal grocery store that I go to. It's on the other side of town, but I wanted to check it out and it ended up being a little bit more expensive than I would normally pay at the grocery store near me, which I guess is fine. Not really. <laughs> I went to this one because it was by McDonald's. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I went because it's near McDonald's. My total today was 8,249 yen. So this is what that converts to in many different currencies. I will put all of these conversions with all of the food I'm gonna show you guys today. This is actually what takes the most time out of this video. So please give it a thumbs up if you guys like seeing this in the videos and if you were watching from a country or have a currency that's not represented. I'm sorry, these are totally just based off of my analytics in YouTube. So these are the most popular countries that are viewing my channel. So thank you guys so much for your support. And if you hear any barking, that is my really sweet dog. <coughs> Sir, I am filming. I'm trying to make a living for us. Can you please not right now? Mom's trying to work. The first item on my list today is sake and I'm on a huge sake kick right now. I've been trying different ones on my Instagram so if you guys are not following me on Instagram, maybe that's of interest of you. Maybe you find me annoying and it's not. I don't know. So this is a local sake brewery. It's called Gokyo. And this is the famous Iwakuni Bridge here in town. This is our most famous historical landmark. This was 375 yen. I think it's coming in a box because it's supposed to be a present, but I wanted to get this to myself. I have not tried this sake yet. I'm really excited. I feel like 375 yen is pretty affordable for a bottle of sake. And it's even cooler that it is brewed local. Really fun and exciting fact that I recently learned from my friend Iwakuni Foodie, Linda, you guys know her. Um, Iwakuni, where I live, is very, very famous for brewing sake because we have a river that runs through here called Nishiki Gawa, Nishiki River, and it's really clean water, which makes it the perfect atmosphere for sake breweries. So yeah, I learned that recently that we are known for sake, which is pretty cool. Local rice for 2,780 yen. This comes from Yamaguchi Prefecture. So I live in Yamaguchi Prefecture, which is my state equivalent. And then the town I live in is Iwakuni. This is the best rice I've ever had in my life. It is so good. Like I am so spoiled to be able to like eat local rice from the store. And it is five kilograms. So if you happen to ever see this at the store, please buy it. Tag me in your Instagram. It is just so delicious. <laughs> I love you. I got some instant yakisoba. The reason, there's actually a reason I bought this. Uh, my Japanese sensei sent me a photo and said that I needed to try it. I think it's a spicy and I'm gonna try it sometime this week. This was 188 yen. These are called karindo. They are so good. So the reason why I actually bought these, one of the kids in my class called it the unchi snack. Unchi is poop. I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, no, it's because like it looks like poop. So I got these because I'm immature. <laughs> They're so good. Like you're not wrong. You're not wrong. They kind of taste like a caramelized donut. Smaller one was a little more expensive. It was 198 yen. And then this one was 188 yen. The next item was not actually bought at the grocery store. It is today's sponsor, which is Boksu. And before, if you're considering clicking out, this is about snacks. And if you're watching this about grocery food and snack calls, like you're going to want to pay attention to this. I work with Boksu every single month. They are an amazing, amazing snack company. Boksu works with family owned businesses and some of those businesses are over 100 years old. So inside your box, you actually get like a little pamphlet that tells you all about the snacks that are featured. And 
where they come from, which I think is really, really cool. It even tells you about the different allergies and ingredients that are in each snack. A lot of these snacks I have not tried. It changes every single month. But this snack, my friend Linda Ibukuni Foodie literally just posted it as one of her favorites on her Instagram story. So I'm gonna try this one. I have not had this one before. Why can't I open it? Do you like this? <laughs> I'm just so aggressive. These are chocolate covered potato chips. This is what they look like. I love a sweet and salty moment. Mmm. Yes, queen. If you guys love snacks just as much as I do, make sure you guys use this code and the link in my description to save 10% off. You can save up to $47 on your bulk suit Japanese snack box shipped directly to your door. Next on my list, I randomly brought this cute little bread. They're like little croissant, little pano chocolat, 220 yen. Do not underestimate the power of how delicious the bread in Japan is. If you know how good the bread in Japan is, then you know it is so good. Like the bakeries here are chef's kiss. Bizus. to last me a whole day. So I was watching TikTok and this girl was talking about, you know, the soup dumplings, the Xiaolong from Trader Joe's. Um, I used to buy those all the time so when i went to the market today i saw some soup dumplings these are chinese not japanese although i'm pretty sure they're made here xiao long bao xiao long bao that's how it's said in japanese i am so sorry if i'm saying that so wrong in chinese please don't come after me i'm doing i'm i'm excited to try these they are pre-made there's lots of plastic i do apologize uh i don't really have a choice for most things, I probably had the choice to not buy these, but I did. So there's eight of these soup dumplings and it was 368 yen. I got some uh, avocados, avocado. In Japan, I think they're called avocado, avocado. And these were each 128 yen. Um, so together 256 yen. I feel like I cannot remember if this is expensive or not for avocados. 128 yen or whatever this is for one avocado. I feel like when I lived in San Diego, I could get them as low as like 78 cents. But I don't know what the current prices are going on the market for avocados. So let me know because you're either going to make me feel like I should be eating more of these or less and saving my money. These come from Mexico. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what the sticker says. Got two chicken breasts as always. We are color matching today. Two larger chicken breasts. These were 532 yen for the two chicken breasts. They do chicken here. So I'm just re-explaining if you haven't watched my other grocery videos. They do chicken here the same way as back home where it's done by weight. Um, maybe that's pretty standard everywhere. I don't, I don't know. I've only, yeah, I don't know. Chicken is from Kagoshima Prefecture. The grocery store that I normally go to, it's local chicken. So this is still chicken from Japan. So I guess that's fine. Is that me being picky? I would rather get chicken from my prefecture. I don't know. Is that weird? It looks really good. Oh no! I squished them. I got some strawberries. Strawberry in Japanese is Ichigo and this is a local strawberry. It's from Denali Farms. So I actually went to this farm and we got to interview the farmer. The video is not done being edited yet, but while I'm talking about it, I'll put some like little clips in. The strawberries are so fresh and delicious. Strawberry season in Japan is like six months long and it's coming to an end. These strawberries are literally grown 20 minutes from my house. I think that is so incredible and they are so delicious. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 strawberries and they're like they are literally the best strawberries i've ever had ah. local japanese amazing perfect organic strawberries for 538 yen let me know what you guys think of the price of these the next item on my list is super exciting 
This is a net for my sink. We don't have garbage disposals in Japan. So we have like this thing in our sink that looks like this. And then you put the net in it. And then you take the net out and then throw it away. So anything that goes in the sink is caught in the net. There's 30 of them and it cost me 98 yen. So this is a household item. This will probably last us like two months, maybe. I don't know, it depends on how much cooking I decide to do. Green onions, uh, they're pre-chopped. Onion is called negi in Japanese. And this cost me 98 yen as well. So less than a dollar for some pre-cut onions. Excuse me, sir. Mom is working. Tomatoes. I literally bought these because I thought the colors were really pretty. 247 yen for these. And they look like they're homegrown. Like they're all misshaped and yeah. They're literally called mini tomato. tomato. And these are also from my area. I got some fresh tuna maguro. It is local. So being able to get fresh fish and tuna like this is just such a treat. I don't really know if this would be considered expensive or not because I didn't really buy tuna back home in the States. So it's a little less than 200 grams for 841 yen. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It's fresh shrimp nigiri. So it's fresh shrimp on a bed of rice. We lost a soldier over here. They make these every day fresh and put them out like three times a day as long as they're selling out. And this was 398 yen. So much less than four US dollars for this. This would easily cost me like 10 USD back home in the States, like for sure. And it's one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. That that to me is actually kind of crazy. The very last item on my grocery list today is dishwashing soap. This is what our soap looks like for the dishwasher. It comes in a bag. I feel like it looks very, very normal. 348 yen. Again, I don't really recall if this would be expensive or not in the States. I, I feel like I always talk about this in all my videos. Like my my perception of like how much things cost is so, so off. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up this month's or this week's little grocery haul. Of course, if you guys have any comments or things you wanted to share about where you live, we would love to hear from you in the comments. I know I love reading through them and you know, other people from all over the world are also going to be reading your comments. So if there's anything you wanna share about prices or cost of living, or of course, if you guys have any video ideas, leave them in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you made it this far and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.